Uh, well, hello, my name's uh, Richard, call sign 2 echo Zero Sierra X-Ray X-Ray. I'm going to quickly talk about uh, one of the products we have here at uh, Martin Lynch & Sons, and that's the very popular 49 to 1 transformer. Now, this is a transformer that uh, you use with an end-fed half-wave antenna. You can use three different lengths of wire with it. It is fairly critical that you don't use random wire. It's got to be uh, a half wave, so you can use 10 meters, 20 meters, or 40, or thereabouts. You have to uh, adjust the length to suit your own environment. So depending on the size of yard or garden you have, and uh, and what whatever you have in the garden, you may have garden sheds, greenhouse, pond, that sort of thing. You will need to adjust to get the best SWR on the uh, lowest band that you're going to operate. So for example, if you had a 20 meter length of wire you would be half wave on 40 meters so you'd set your SWR on the 40 meter band and then 20, 15 and 10 will all drop in as well so you'll find it's, it's resonant on those bands with no tuning required or minimal tuning. The bands in between you would need to use the, either the internal or external tuner. I myself I use a, a 40 meter length of wire and that's been adjusted to 39 six meters which suits uh, my garden very well I get a very good tune on the 80 meter band and it works fantastically well on 40 20 15 and 10 because they're harmonics of course and I use a uh, the internal tuner for 30 meters 17 12 and 6 I was, was quite surprised to get six meters on it and I use an external tuner for for top band so it's not too efficient on top band so let me just quickly show you some of the connections we have on here. This is the 49 to 1 transformer. On the top here we have the antenna connector. This is where you'd attach your end-fed half-wave wire. There's a stress relieving loop that you would uh, attach the wire around and hold in place with some cable ties, cable clips, to stop it putting too much pressure onto the antenna binding post. At the base we have the coax connector, which is an SO connector. There's a ground stroke counterpoise connector. Now this is fairly important. If you're mounting this up in the air on an aluminium pole, uh, if the pole is three meters or longer, then you just attach a jumper wire from the ground connector here to the pole. And that will give you the counterpoise you need. If this is fairly close to the ground, so you can mount this anything from, you know, down to one meter above ground. You would mount a, your earth connection here straight to an earth rod. And we also have a vent here for uh, condensation and for heat. So there we go. That's the overview of the unit. Oh, I haven't mentioned the power. This particular one here, this is rated at uh, 600 watts PEP. And uh, that's, from, that's from top band down up to uh, six meters and uh, also 150 watts on data modes and AM. It is a 50% duty cycle as with all transformers which, is, which includes balance and ununs. We do have another model as well for those of you that uh, prefer QRP. Let me just grab that. It's this one here. This one operates exactly the same way. Uh, it's got the connections, same positions. This one is 100 watts PEP and 25 watts for data modes and uh, AM. I will mention also, if you're using these and you have to tune on a band, it doesn't matter whether you're using the high power or the QRP version. If you have an SWR of greater than 1.6 you, without the tuner, you do need to reduce the power of your output because they, they will heat up and then your SWR will change and then you have to wait for it to cool down. But that is the same with all transformers. You have to use, have to get the lowest SWR you can. Right, uh, also as well as the um, transformers, we do sell the antenna wire. And it's very important to use a wire that's dedicated uh, for use as an antenna. Uh, let me show you what we have here. We have the very popular Messi and Poloni Diperflex wire. We sell this in, in 50 meter sections like this and also 200 meter rolls. Now this is, uh, this is 
specially designed four antennas, whether it's end-fed half-waves, dipoles, random wires, um, anything you like, even use it for counterpoises and grain radials. And the, but the difference with an antenna wire and a regular sort of wire that you can buy at a DIY shop is that when you put this up 40 meters long or 20 meters long, the following day it's still 40 meters long. It's not like bell wire or, or speaker wire. The weight of it will actually stretch it. So one, you know, you could put this up on a Friday night, 40 meters long on, you know, Sunday afternoon, it might be 41 and a half meters long. So, you know, it's put your SWR out, put your tune out, and then you have to start folding back or cutting. And before you know it, you know, it stretched so much that it snaps. So this is why you should always use a dedicated antenna wire. Well, there we have it. That's uh, my video for, for this afternoon. If you have any questions or you'd like to purchase any of these products, please have a look on our website or give us a, give us a call or email us and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you.